What is going on, Biscuiteers? This is Biscuits TV, and welcome back to another episode of Eternal Darkness. Now, uh, I didn't save it the last one because it didn't allow it to save me, so I just, you know, yeah. So I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do at this point because I don't even remember what to do. God, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, I guess we're gonna go over here. Oh, that's right, I'm dying. Fucking amazing. <clears throat> um. What am I doing? Oh. Take me back to the real world. I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, you, you turned your shit right now. <laughs> oh, fuck. Trappers have no eyes, but can sense sound very well. If Anthony can sneak past them, they won't be trouble. <laughs> you have to be very quiet. Examine. A detail. On disturbing and reducing of a monstrous devil, it is contorted into what appears to be a fountain. What sickly liquid is this draining into the pool, drinkly from what scum crossed its belt? Eh. I don't know, let's just sneak past these assholes. Oh, you son of a bitch! I didn't do shit, you hear me? I got, I got to do this. One. Ah, surprise, motherfucker! I don't need to do shit. Hey, no, says. Finish him! Finish him! All right, now we go back. We must go back to the real world. For fuck's sake, man. Uh, God damn, dude. This guy is fucking you up. Oh, shit. Finish him. Oh, you son of a bitch. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Fatality. Dude, where the fuck is everyone? Don't you dare look up. We must go back. Yeah. The monk ambles around nervously as if half expecting the demonic bishop to return at any moment. What am I supposed to do? Oh! Okay. Oh my god, you turned into the other face. Oh shit. <laughs> oh my god, you're walking like Leatherface. <laughs> nice. But, what do you... Let's go up. Let's go up. Because, I mean... We're, pro we're, we're, we're screwed at this point. The Biscuiteer don't have the healing aid. A, be a bewildering array of books and tomes sorted neatly on a set of shelves. Most book mostly books of a religious nature. They sit beneath a skin of dust as if no one has touched them. We read this already. Oh. Am I gonna fight a boss? <gasps> I am. Whoa! Oh my god, I'm fighting Reggie Alien. <laughs> Reggie Alien, oh no! Ah, uh, you son of a bitch! Oh my god. Oh, you son of a bitch! 
Ah! Oh, you motherfucker! Ah! Can I save? I can't save. Fuck. I can't save. Um. Um. Wait, wait, wait! I have the bishop's key. I have Scaramax. I got a message scroll. A two edged sword. I got a torch. Uh, I, I don't. What do you what do you want from me? Uh. Uh. Magic! Oh, fuck! <laughs> what? Am I a walking zombie? Um, that worked. I don't know. Wait, what? Ramble, ramble, ramble. Um, I did. Reggie Alien just fainted. Oh, can I finish it? Finish him! Oh, I can't finish him. Okay, let's go. Oh, welcome back. Um, you know, computer froze. Ah, uh, shit. No, the computer didn't freeze. It's just... Um, OBS crashed on me, and I was like, no, but it's okay. Ugh. Oh, shit. Just, just die, just die. Whoa. Just. Oh. Okay. That works. That works. Uh, we're gonna use the bishop's key. <clears throat> no, Charlemagne. Charlemagne, I have failed you. Whoa! You are a fool for trying to save him, Antony. His fate was decided many centuries ago. As is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Olios. Holy shit! <laughs> Fuck! Chapter complete. My god. I have to go to the dresser key. This key broke. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh. Detail. This is a bizarre drawing of a blah 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 blah. I seriously do not know where to go from here. Uh, Edward Roy of his studies, filled with arcane knickknacks, mementos of yesteryear, and other cultures. The odor of ancient texts is faintly noticeable under the peppering of dust that covers every surface except one. The desk had been the center of activity, and not a mote of dust is on it. Here, Alex's grandfather had worked, perhaps even hours before the end. That's kind of depressing. Um... The fuck? I have a gladius. <gasps> I can equip it! But where's the dresser? Not like you could use it. Oh, I thought that was gonna be a cutscene. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, uh, no. no. <laughs> I don't know where to go on from here. This this is left last. I don't know. 
shit to pick up. Don't you dare knock on my door. Uh, I don't know why, but I don't think you should knock on my fucking door. Door is locked. Uh, can you can I use this key? I cannot use that right now. But it's a key, and I thought it was for a dresser. Is like, uh, is this not a room? Portraits of the ancestral Royvis line in the foyer walls. Their faces reveal a dark, brooding edge. There is something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. Okay. But I was looking at the clock, not you, you dick. A beautiful carriage clock that has appeared to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick with the time permanently set to 333. It's kind of scary, you don't you think? Just, just, just for some reason, it's like fucking there. Alright, let's go through here. Uh, we have a piano, can we? A grand piano stands here, awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description, and as such, the piano fell into disuse. What the fucking do? Um. Shit. Uh. Uh, there's nothing here. Did I even go? Uh, she's tired. She's tired. She's tired. Just walk. Just walk. There's nothing here. How come nothing is here? Uh, is there a dresser nearby though? Gradius? Gladius. Bah, bah, bah. You're looking at something. What are you looking at? Stop knocking on the door. Swear to God. Swear to me. Don't you go through. Oh, God damn it. A wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of the lock. A color stitch was carved into the wood above a white slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. I can't use the gladius because it's too fucking... Look at that. Alex places the blade into the slot but feels it push it back. It is as if the magic of the blade does not fit the lock. No, I think I need to look for the Anthony's blade. I don't know where it's at. What the fuck? I'm hearing voices. Eternal darkness, what have you done to me? Making me paranoid. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Stop knocking on the door. The upstairs door is locked and Alex has broken the key. The key must be prepared before the door can be unlocked. Yeah, but how are you supposed to do it? Oh, wait, don't I have... I have magic! Oh my god! I have magic. Uh, spell this. Yes! <laughs> I forgot I could repair it. <laughs> nice. Uh, okay. -na -na -na. Okay. Uh, where, where to go? Whoa! What the fuck? A serene painting of a luscious mountain valley, delicately rendered in oils. Time has taken its toll on the surface, which is soiled with dirt and dust. Do you not notice the blood that- did, See, look at that! Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna wait there until, like, you know... What the Do you not notice it? Oh my god, there's blood right here! Why is there blood here? It's like, stop looking at paintings, there's like blood literally everywhere! What don't you understand from that? A chapter page has been hastily stashed behind the frame of the painting. Should Alex retrieve the chapter page? Alex has found a chapter page entitled The Gift of Forever. Is that Napoleon Bonaparte? He loves me some history. Ooh. What is this? I found ammunition without a gun. Just perfect. 
My god. What the fuck? Thomas Jefferson! What the fuck, dude? This shit's creepy. Oh, no, I'm playing at daytime. It's too dark in here to do anything. Perhaps the circuit has been broken? Oh my god. You're, you're seriously... You see, Really? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Why is the statue following me? Shouldn't it be broken? I'm telling you, there's like... Bl oh, wait, is this a dresser? No, there's this... I can't use it because that's not a dresser that I'm looking for. Alex questions the presence of a lush landscape amidst these other more pieces. Could it be a single ray of hope encircled by the encroaching darkness? Uh, yeah, you believe what you want. I, I'm I'm done thinking about this. Ooh, restroom. Oh, look, another chapter. Alex has found a page from the Journal of the Maximilian Royalists. Yeah, I found a chapter. What the fuck? <laughs> what is that? What the fuck? Oh hell no! Oh, get away from me! I'm, I'm done with this game. Oh my god. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this is messy. Oh. <sighs> Stop knocking on the door. You're not making it even better. I know. It. Stop. Just. Just let me be for a second. Um, let's just keep going over here. The wallpaper in the section of the hallway is oddly marred as though the wall it sits on it's not even within wait, what what the fuck? The wallpaper in the section of the hallway is oddly marred. Married marred as though the wall it sits on is not even with the rest of the room. Uh, of course, uh, do you have to light it up? <clears throat> this is a page from Maximilian Royvis's journal. It reads, Everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved on the shadows of lights. I have learned through my lifetime, but no less than a newborn baby. Actually, I'm just going to keep um, checking before I do. Oh, you son of a bitch. That's it. Dreams. Modern psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others oh my god, dude. With symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others... Dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Shut up, Carl Jung. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize into nightmares. Oh, dude, I'm so... S oh, my God. Um...
after this cutscene, I think we're gonna end it, dude. Um, I'm too scared to even play this game right now. <laughs> dude, I like seeing Gobby. I have followed you for years. <gasps> oh my god. For weeks, I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it. It must be mine, Kareem. If you truly desire me, I don't. I don't. Not with your neck movement. Stop it. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. It's not worth it, man. She wants you to die. Shut the fuck. me to the point I can think of nothing else. Promise. If I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Damn, talk about a gold digger. Oh my god, what's going on? Oh my god. Uh, let's just walk around a bit, see what's, see what's up. Um... Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna do this, I'm, I'm yeah, <laughs> what the fuck, wait, do I have a gladius? What the fuck is a talisman? An ancient talisman that has been in Kareem's family for many generations, it is said to be bestow, it is said to bestow long life on those that have kept it, the sign can be used to restore health. That's all I need, ooh, hello. A man's corpse lies fallen. Wounds cover the exposed flesh of this body where his armor has filled. Yeah, I'm just gonna climb down. Whoa. I deeply regret it. I deeply regret it. Deeply regret it. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at the floor. Cradle, a cradle in what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book. It is bound in human skin and, intri and intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons in yours to be possessed. Should Karim claim the Tome of Eternal Darkness? I believe so. Karim has acquired the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Bushit! Not today, Moody fucker. <coughs> so this is Prince of Persia, right? Can I call it Johnny Depp? No, I should call it uh, James Franco. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you um, James Franco. I don't know why. Uh, what are you doing? Did did I? Did I do it, everything? Okay. Um. Yeah, we're going to end this right here. Um. If you enjoyed this video, please give this a like. Um, subscribe in order to become a biscuit here today. And uh, last but not least, comment because feedback is always appreciated. Uh, this is Biscuits TV signing off. Thank you for 45 subscribers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you later, Biscuitiers.